Good morning guys, how are we all doing? I am Dan from Trading with Dan, hope we are all well. I'm definitely a lot better this morning, went to the GP yesterday and they basically said I was I was post-virus, uh, so there's not really much they could do and just these uh, the coughs and stuff could last for a, for a few, she's actually said up to three weeks, but um, I, don't, I don't suspect it will be that long. But anyway, feeling a lot better today, hope you guys are all well. Obviously, we are all, we are all fine and dandy over here on the back of our fastest horse in the race. Um, so yeah, all that being said, if you guys wouldn't mind smashing the like button and we shall go and look at the chart of um, of said horse. Um, but yeah, so here we have it, Bitcoin on the four hour. Um, yeah, we moved we moved up to this horizontal level, got rejected there, uh, pulling back um, above this horizontal here. So above all this previous price action we had going on here. Um, so yeah, if we do get supported here, potentially trade within this narrow range until we either break out the top side, um, in which point we'll potentially be looking for a move back towards all time highs. Uh, maybe break through, maybe not quite get there, come back down. Uh, trade sideways um or we break below back below here back into this uh, range this uh, area of um of a lot of the recent price action um, and then decide do we break below there get to 58 get supported there i mean you guys can see where i'm going we're just playing level to level we are we uh, for the time being um in the short term have a appear to stop trending trending to the upside which obviously you can see i mean this was a clear a clear nice upward trend um kind of sloped off and now yeah now you can see uh we we are we are looking to um yeah looking to consolidate um have we got have we established this range 57 58 thousand towards uh 67 thousand is this where we're going to trade sideways for um yeah we shall see obviously there's a lot of bullishness going on but then we've had a, a lot of bullish price action um when you hit like peak bullishness um then you are you will expect profit taken a lot of um a lot of people a lot of uh finance 1.0 professionals at least um are waiting uh they think they're gonna be able to pick this up uh low 50s i mean maybe they will i mean i'm not about to say oh no they won't uh just because we don't like finance 1.0 people <laughs> but um but maybe they will because um because ultimately if we do break back below 58 the next stop is low 50s um and that wouldn't be it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a bad point this 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 level here wouldn't be a bad point for us to back test and then and then bounce back up if we look at that in the context of the overall move it's only about 50 percent retracement so it's not even a 60 uh, 61.8 percent retracement um so it is perfectly reasonable we could print a sort of head and shoulders <coughs> and then break break this break this horizontal and then test down here and then put in a very <coughs> a very nice higher uh a, a very nice um higher low relative to this uh this low down here i move onwards and upwards and at which point we'll have a uh, a nice low here a nice high here a nice higher low here a nice higher high here a nice higher low around here and then we'll go on onwards and upwards um hopefully uh to make a nice higher high um who knows who knows where hundred thousand hundred and ten hundred and twenty um certainly i think uh those are those those levels are on the cards um so if you also want to look at the ethereum bitcoin chart this is also looking relatively good um like i said this is an important level like i said in yesterday's video uh to get rejected there and the initial pass is fine uh to pull back and then if we can now uh, make our way back up and through it uh, through it with this uh, next iteration of price action then we will actually start to look very healthy very good here um, and I think a lot of attention will turn to Ethereum oops a lot of attention has clearly been on Bitcoin um, and always will be on Bitcoin um, but um, the Ethereum is we know Ethereum is a massive uh, a massive uh, uh part of crypto uh, it is different to bitcoin in the way it has uh, the smart contracts that operate on it, it as the nfts on it it has all uh, all DeFi's on it all the stable coins are on it pretty much i mean ethereum is is like where crypto is <laughs> um so yeah um ethereum may that now start to um get some attention and then yeah it may start to make this move again this is obviously against bitcoin if we look at the usd pairing uh, the US PIP D pairing itself is looking good, but I mean this is just a reflection on the whole crypto market is uh, is looking good. Um, but this is obviously a uh, a relatively bullish looking chart, uh, a nice uh, a nice um, 
um, yeah, consolidation from this initial move up. Um, and yeah, if we move on, we'll take the next leg up, 8K, 8K EOY. Uh, everything, everything will be looking great. Um, obviously, we've got um, PJT, Paul, Paul uh, PTJ even, sorry, Paul Tudor Jones. Um, um, one of the most listened to and respected hedge fund managers that there is out there. Um, pretty much one of the main guys, um, and he is basically saying that yeah, Bitcoin is is the one and gold isn't. So, um, and um, all those um, all those finance 1.0 normies now have access to an ETF, uh, a nice inefficient lazy ETF for them to buy into crypto. But don't forget, people are lazy. Even even us, as we know in crypto, we can be lazy. We can be like, oh, can I be bothered to send transactions over to that new chain setup, that new chain setup? Or, or, or I mean, people are lazy. People do take people do take the path of path of least resistance, and some people are lazy in others. So uh, this ETF, <coughs> as inefficient as it may be, um, is just easy for people to use, and um, obviously they uh, they can flood into it now. Um, especially seen as uh, Paul uh, Tudor Jones is saying, um, yeah, this is that this is basically better than gold. It's a new gold. I mean, the price action tells you that anyway. But um, but don't rule out gold though. I literally don't rule out gold or precious metals because at the end of the day, when the set the 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 SH1T hits the fan for central bankers, um, the only real asset they 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 hold on their balance sheets is gold they don't hold bitcoin they hold gold um so a a devaluation of currency against gold i.e a reva an upward valuation of gold against the currency um could be a route they take and that could add on a it could add on a couple of o's uh, a couple of o's to the gold price um i did a video about this um maybe um maybe nearly two years ago now um, where I was saying that is basically the strategy they will take they will devalue uh, the currency against gold i.e. revalue gold and it'll have a ridiculously higher price um, and that is how they'll de basically devalue the currency because don't forget potential bankers have gold on their balance sheets um, I mean <coughs> I don't want to get into uh, the discussion about how much they really have uh, who who actually uh, owns the rights to it um, and all that all that fun stuff um, but nonetheless it is an asset they hold they can revalue currency against or i.e. just value up um, gold and they've already already if you think about how they're trying to say oh, we're going to have a platinum coin with this value uh, it is something they have um, like just wild stuff is stuff that can happen not that is a direct comparison um, but yeah that is is something they can do let's look at the dollar index also uh, dollar index having having a little bit of a bounce here remember it's relative to other currencies but ultimately ultimately we know what the fed has to, well what the fed can't do the fed can't really taper or anything like that any any fun stuff like that um so they are um they are they are they are done and dusted uh, we can stick a fork in them and um and then yeah it does seem that markets are reacting to it i mean if we just look at the s p uh look at it we knew this <laughs> look at it look at it go even actually above our our trend line here as well already so um yeah very aggressive moves very aggressive moves don't forget stocks are uh, an inflation hedge also um an inflation hedge that also is performing better than gold um but yeah so uh, i think i think um gold at this point is uh is just a uh, is uh, is just a hedge or it's an insurance policy not even necessarily a hedge it's an insurance policy <laughs> <coughs> against uh, an, an apocalypse um so yeah i think that's realistically how the only way we can um, consider um gold uh, at the moment um so like I said, uh, central banks may try and pull a funky manoeuvre with it because um, they aren't gonna. They are seriously. They obviously aren't gonna pull that funky manoeuvre um, with uh, Bitcoin as a reserve asset because they hate it. They hate it more than they hate gold, but they can't really control it. And they've kind of first they've got to. They've just got to ignore you. Then they've got to laugh at you. And I think we may even just be at the ignore you stage to a certain extent uh, for central bankers. Uh, just a quick look at uh, a quick look at Tesla um look at it go um michael burry that um that guy that um um the uh <coughs> i read them i read the report i read them i read what was in them guy he just got one trade right and obviously now everyone thinks he's uh thinks he's great and he almost bust out that trade 
anyway and so what if you read the reports i mean you didn't need to re read the reports to know that uh that it was all trash anyway if you know what i mean just like uh yeah okay cool uh yeah rayman's cool as well yeah cool yeah cool cool yeah anyway so your next trade short in bitcoin um screwed short in tesla screwed um so yeah well done why is anyone listening to that clown <laughs> why does anyone listen to him and um all all i think when i think of michael burry is just uh, when he's played by um um by the guy uh, in the film and he just basically looks like a um yeah just looks like a special guy um is a special guy what just it's just crazy like i mean this is just how like fame and shit fame fame kind of works um you just yeah you're, you're famous for one thing and then people then start to think you're going to predict the next things but um he is just he's getting wrecked and look at this he's getting wrecked absolutely wrecked he's short this and he's short bitcoin like the two things that all you realistically need to do was be long um so yeah i mean that's it you hit you hit a trade out of the park we've all done this before in our early stages of uh trading you hit trades out of the park and then you basically give it all back <coughs> um I don't know. Well, he's obviously potentially not going to give him all his actual uh, financial gains back, but uh, he's certainly given his um, his um, financial clout back, or his financial clout has uh, should have been given back, um, and he should basically be a, a zero to negative uh, financial clout. So anyway, that is enough of that is enough um, <coughs> enough slating Michael Burry, um, the clown. Um, so let's now look at, um, let's now look at, don't, I, I was, I'm bearish, I was bearish, I had, had negative views of Tesla, but I never basically went out and public, never went out and shorted it full stop, let alone, um, massively public, pu staked my reputation on shorting it, not that I even have a reputation, but, um, we have been long, heavily long crypto though for a long time, um, in this chat and that clearly is a is a more of a winning trade than tesla was anyway so uh yeah there we go um <laughs> right what I, what i've completely completely gone off at a tangent here uh <clears throat> anything else uh yeah 10 year just uh, hanging around there um but we spoke about what realistic to expect with bonds i mean we are with this is an inflation trade this is why stocks are doing well commodities are doing well that's because we don't even look at commodities anymore they're just only up we are we are in full-on massive inflation um so obviously the 10-year can rise uh, in the in that scenario and obviously everything does great because then it is actually indicating what it normally indicates which is risk on um so so yes um <laughs> let's have a look at the uh, stochastics um four hour uh four hour coming down um got room to run to the downside um let's wait for the 10 hour <coughs> wait for the 10 hour to load 10 hours now 10 hours now bottomed out moving up and got plenty of room to run and we know the 12 hour is going to be looking basically roughly the same 12 hour moving up got plenty of room to run daily uh daily coming down though two day coming down but albeit from a high level same with three day albeit from a high level it can stay uh five day moving up weekly holding up there um bi-weekly moving up and monthly will turn back up so i mean um it kind of it kind of it kind of it kind of looks bullish doesn't it guys it kind of looks bullish uh but um but also with potential just for sideways ranging within here um 10 12 hour may get us back up to these highs we then they may then exhaust come back down trade trade uh maybe we base around uh putting a new uh, high uh, basically based around this 63 64 thousand dollar level <laughs> can't talk um and then we just um and then we just blast onwards and upwards um but um there is al always the risk of downside if we take out the horizontals um there is a there is a higher risk in inverted commas i think of just trading sideways for a bit anyway which i think it will be good to see um but i'm clearly biased because uh the likelihood is ethereum will um will um <coughs> will uh perform pretty well in that in, in, in scenario um, so yeah, like I said, I, I hold a bias towards that. Uh, so maybe I should uh, take that into account when I when I just uh, expect sideways. But Bitcoin does trade uh, in sideways ranges for most of the time, and then has a trending move, and then trades trades sideways again. It's just how how it operates. Uh, it's how it how it rolls. Um, 
trade sideways look for obviously a long I mean sorry about all the lines but for a long period of time before we then move sideways move sideways 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 move sideways move sideways sideways move so um <coughs> yeah expect potential uh, the, the the propensity <laughs> for some sideways price action <coughs> this is annoying this cough um, so yeah there we go guys <coughs> I'm gonna go before I have like a full-on coughing fit uh, I feel less better. I feel less fluy. Um, I mean, I have a headache, but um, nothing that painkillers obviously aren't. Nothing that just paracetamol isn't basically dealing with. Uh, but anyway, you guys, you guys don't need to know about my um, <coughs> my um, my short term health concerns. <laughs> Um, thank you for listening. <laughs> Apologies for the coughing. Hope you guys are all well, <laughs> well, weller than I am. Um, and I shall speak to you all soon. <laughs>